if alpha is not equals to a beta is not equals to b and gamma is not equals to c and determinant of alpha b c a beta c a b gamma is equal to 0 then find the value of a upon alpha minus a plus b upon beta minus b plus gamma upon gamma minus c let's use the properties of determinants so the determinant is given alpha b c a beta c and a b gamma which is equal to 0 so we know that by using the operations like an example r1 row 1 r1 minus r2 if we subtract if you change the row 1 by using r1 minus r2 will not change the determinant and even we can apply r2 r2 minus r3 so will not change the determinant value so we can write determinant of first row r1 minus r2 that is alpha minus a b minus beta c minus c that is 0 similarly r2 a minus a 0 here beta minus b and c minus gamma and the last a b and gamma is equal to 0 and now let us take common alpha minus a from the first column say this is c1 c2 and c3 so alpha minus a from the first column and alpha minus sorry beta minus b from the second column and c minus gamma from the third column so we can write alpha minus a into beta minus b into let us take gamma minus c then the remaining elements in the first column we have 1 0 and here a upon alpha minus a and in the second column so beta minus b so we can write here minus 1 and 1 here and b upon we can write beta minus b and in the third column 0 and gamma minus so it is negative 1 and again gamma upon gamma minus c which is equal to 0 now let's evaluate the determinant so we can write alpha minus a into and since it is equal to 0 and it is also given that alpha is not equals to that is alpha minus a is not equals to 0 and beta minus b is not equals to 0 and gamma minus c is not equals to 0 so these three are not equal to zero so we can consider only this product this determinant is zero so we may write one times deleting the first row and first column so we have one times of gamma upon gamma minus c minus of minus one upon one times of that is b upon beta minus b and again the next one minus of minus plus one times of deleting the first row and first column so we have 0 into gamma upon c that is 0 minus of minus will come plus a upon gamma minus a which is equal to 0 so we can write gamma upon gamma minus c plus b upon beta minus b and again plus a upon alpha minus a is equal to 0 so the question a upon alpha minus a here b upon beta minus b plus gamma upon gamma minus c is equal to 0 0 is the answer option c